Kira Simone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kira and I have a um, cumulative summer haul slash back to school haul. This is going to be part one of two, maybe three most likely. I already have a bunch of packages ordered to my school in D.C. Um, I will be going there in the next two or three days. So once I get those things together part two of this haul is coming out also i would like to apologize in advance for the fact that um the haul part of this video was recorded in portrait mode and not landscape mode i was not paying attention and by the time that i realized it was like well over an hour worth of footage and i was like oh, i really cannot go through recording all of this again and you know a lot of it was filmed on separate days because you know i had different beats different looks to go with the different outfits so Without further ado, let's get into this haul. <laughs> First, I have this tan crop top in a medium from Forever 21. The jeans are also from Forever 21 um, in a size 21. These are the high rise distressed jeans, and my gold Hirachis are the 10 and a half from Nike. Inside of the jeans, there's no zipper, they just button up to the top, which is annoying, but it's fine. These pants are in a large from Forever 21. The crop top is from Fashion Nova. And on the inside, there's this black band that sometimes will flip out and show a little bit. So I have to adjust that, but it's fine. It holds them up good. They're not a super structured material. It's kind of like a spandex mix, but it is dressier than leggings, I will say. It's a bit um, more sturdy than leggings. And I just have a, my Red Authentics are in a 9.5 in women's and an 8 in men's. These cargo trousers are from Forever 21 in a large. Um, this is the same crop top from before with the striped collar shirt from Forever 21 in a small. And I just thought it with a scarf here. These pants are in a large, which they're a bit fitted. So they didn't have anything bigger than a large, but they fit. Luckily, Jesus, I barely made it. This crop top from Forever 21 also in the black one is a medium. These grid ankle pants are a repurchase. Um, I had them before, but they wore out between the thighs, thick thigh problems, but they're my favorites. I love them. You can style them so many different ways, so I had to get them again. Hopefully, they don't wear out so quick this time. This crop top is in a medium from Perf 21, styled with the same trousers from before. I really love this outfit, and I ordered, like, a wallet chain to style with it, and I think it's going to be so cute when it comes. This crop top's a medium. I love it. You know, multiple looks. I can do fitted. I can do loose. It's whatever. Belly's out. We'll be out through the entire year. Oh, well. I don't care. It's cute. This dress I already have in like a dark heather gray, but I wanted to get in red because red is my color. Um, this is the Capsule Skater dress in a medium. It's really short, so when I bend over, you get a little show, but it's fine. It's cute. I'll deal with it. This one is the same dress with sleeves and like a lace-up detail on the back. Um, this is the lace-up swing dress, also in a medium. It's cute for the fall. I can style it with some tights and like maybe my Doc Martens and a jean jacket or a leather jacket. These are the same jeans from the beginning. Um, still in a 29. I just styled it with like a plain white Hanes tee and this flannel um, that's in a medium, I believe. And this will be cute when I get my little accessories that are coming. It's so cute and so, I don't know, simple, but not too simple. And with the glasses, like sometimes, these aren't prescription, but I wear contacts when I have glasses like this. Sometimes the wind dries my contacts out, so I'll wear glasses with them just to keep that from happening. These socks are in a one size fit all. I think they'd be cute to style with my red vans, so just cute. And then I got these bamboo earrings that I already have. I'm so terrified that I'm gonna lose one of them or break one of them, so I bought another one just in case that happens. I then have this little narrow belt to wear with all my high-waisted jeans. And I have this little scrunchie. I don't know if you can see, oh, you can. It's got a little bit of red going through it. And then I got this cactus pin because I just love everything, anything with cactus on it. Next is this little gold key pendant necklace. It's really cute and dainty. It looked bigger in the picture online, but it's fine. It's still really cute to layer. This is it extended all the way. 
First, I got two syringes. They're my all-time favorite. Smell amazing. You see them, get them. You'll love them. Won't regret it. Then I got a peach. I'm a Georgia peach. What else can I say? I got this one. It's Thailand Coconut This Body. It's the original scent. Um, we're Trinidadian, so like Indianish smells are comforting for us, I guess. So I got these for my mom put in the kitchen. They smell amazing. They smell like coconut rice. Mm, a win. The one thing I will say if you get this, it smells amazing, but it's not strong. So like you gotta get real close up on it to smell it. It smells good. I just wish it was stronger. I probably won't buy it again just because of that. Next, another amazing one. This whole series is amazing. If not serene, I'll get love because mm, mm, mm. she's that girl. Mm. Yes. Vanilla bourbon peach is for my mom. Um, I always get her a candle when I get myself a candle, so she likes this one. It had a high success rate before she approved. She loved it. Got another one. This one is also for my mom. Like I just said, when I get myself a candle, I get her one. She likes praline. I think it's disgusting. Oh, I smell it. It smells like candy corn and caramel corn. Had a baby, and that baby threw up. That's what it smells like. It's too much. It's just doing too much, but she likes it, so that's what matters. She can burn it, whatever. This one, ooh, ooh, she smells so clean and so light and so fresh, and ooh, if I could smell like this all the time, I would. It's like, this one is rose water and ivy. Um, I wish they had a perfume for this, but I'm like, at the same time, I know they did. It's Bath and Body Works, so it smells super cheap and like alcohol, so I wouldn't want it, but just... I wish I could smell like this. It smells so good and so clean. And just the slightest bit of rose, like the kind of rose you want to smell like. Not the nasty roses that they be having. Oh, I don't want any of that. But rose water ivy. If you can't get serene, get this one. This is another. This is. Those are my top two. And honestly, between this one and that one, like I don't even know if I could pick a favorite because they're both that bomb. Oh. This one actually is this from Bath and Body Works. I got this one from. Um, Marshalls, I think it was $7.99, so it was actually cheaper for the same size. Like, this is a Bath and Body Works candle. This one's chai, it's by the brand Sand and Fog. It smells like chai tea, it's strong, it smells good. I love her, and it's black and gold and just sexy, just like on your grown woman sexy shit. Like, whew. okay, okay. Next, I'm gonna do the actual perfumes I got. Perfumes not being Bath and Body Works, um, actual fragrances that I got. Okay, so first I have a uh, repurchase, the oldie but goodie. This is just the Jimmy True, the 3.4 ounce. For me, I like vanilla y, musky, warm, like sensual scents. I like a floral every now and then, but for the most part, I'm gonna be wearing something vanilla like. So this one is just like so me, but I kind of wore it to death. I'm a little tired of it. So I had to get some new musky scents, hey. But anyways, if you're looking for something similar, like if you're a musky scent person too, I really recommend this one. It does smell really good. I just need something new. This is a full brand new bottle. So what was I thinking? Um, the next one I got was the Marc Jacobs Decadence, another musky sensual scent. It came in a um, gift set. With, this is the 1.7 ounce, and I gave the one ounce bottle to my sister. I took everything out of the box because no one cares what the box looks like. We wanted to see what the perfume looks like, so this is it. It's a purse. The 1.7 comes with a tassel. The one ounce did not. My sister doesn't care. It's fine. Next, my dad gave me this DKNY Be Delicious, and I remember when I was young, my mom had this, and it was like, I thought it smelled so good. I thought it smelled smack like apples, and now when I smell it, I'm like, where the apple at? It ain't in here. I don't know if it's because he got the bootleg version because my dad is a bootleg guy low key. It's fine. It's him. Whatever. That's his business. But this smells like. No. That's not like no. It smell too strong. Oh, that's not me. I like warm and sensual and soft and vanilla. And this ain't it. This ain't it. Mm, no. Maybe I'll give it away to somebody. The next one I got was the. I'm a butcher this. Terry, I think it's Terry Mugle. Terry Mugle, that's what we're gonna say. Um, I'm gonna put it on the screen so you can read it. But this one is Alien. Um, I like this one. It's kind of like a jasmine tea sort of thing. And uh, about me, I like to mix perfumes because I don't like smelling like anyone else. So I feel like this one's really good to, to layer with the next one that I got. This is the refillable bottle. 
Um, this one is a two ounce. Um, and this DKNY was a 3.4. Honestly, this wasn't even like for me. Um, one of my best friends back in the day, her mom was always talking about this perfume and how she was gonna get it. I never even smelled it, but like I remember how much she talked about how much she loved it. And so when I saw it, I bought it without smelling it. And I like it, thankfully. It's not something that I would have thought for myself, but I do like it, so that's good. The next one, also from Terry Mugley. Correct me if I'm saying that wrong in the comments, please, because I want to know. Um, this one is Angel. This is the 0.8 fluid ounce. I wish I would have gotten the bigger bottle of this one because it was cheaper, and I like the smell of this better. Um, who that DK and why I woofing? Ugh. But this one, it's so soft and gentle and you really do smell like an angel and one thing i will say about this because i did try it i wore this one yesterday this has the longest staying power of a perfume that i have seen thus far in my life i sprayed this on today's wednesday on monday with the outfit that i wore i sprayed it i washed my makeup off you know slept in that shirt I woke up the next day and literally yesterday night is when I took my shower. I still smelled like this perfume. Like I buried my sister's face in my chest and I was like, Carissa, smell. And she couldn't breathe, but she could smell that the smell was still there and it smelled good. And so that's one thing I will say about this perfume, like the staying power is 10 out of 10. This is 13 out of 10, would recommend. Go cop, okay? She is that girl. This one. I don't even know what brand this is. It's Realm. Um, this one I think retails for 35, but because I bought it at the same time as those two Terry Mugler perfumes, like it had some special where I got this for 10. Um, but it smells good. I like to mix this with my, I just mix it sometimes just to give a different element when I get tired of certain scents. It's just, and it smells good on its own too. It's not a musky one. It's kind of, I'd say it's like a woman's cologne. Like, if you've ever smelled sort of like an Estee Lauder, it's not that grandma-y perfume scent. It's more clean, like a, it would be like a cologne for women, I'd say. I don't know. It doesn't have any fruity elements per se. I need to look up what the actual notes are. I'm saying all these things like I, I am, I'm a perfume guru. What am I talking about? I love perfume. I take it serious. I'll be reading reviews and same thing with my candles. What's the staying powder? How do they last? You know, all of that. The notes. It's, it's important to me. It's that deep. We're moving on to the lotions and body creams and body washes of the haul. But first, um, this is my, I said that I like sensual musky warm vanilla essence but not literally warm vanilla because y'all warm vanilla the world to death the way that y'all cucumber melon the world to death the way that y'all pink chiffon the world to death okay that's not what we're doing we are <laughs> sensual amber okay and they just had the semi-annual sale so i went ahead and copped i think i got three of these maybe four i don't remember but I layer this and it goes with all my musky, vanilla, warm, sensual perfume. So 10 out of 10, I love it. I love her. She never fails. I went ahead and copped two of the body washes. I don't really use body wash. I don't think body wash gets you clean. I feel like body wash is for after you use the bar soap. Like if you wanna just smell good, I'll go in with the body wash. Or sometimes when I like don't have shaving cream, I'll get a little bit of body wash, lather it up and um, use that i guess to shave under my arms on my legs but i don't just be wash up body wash if you just wash a body wash reevaluate that my next body wash i got cashmere glow you see the theme we're doing musky scents <laughs> this one i was really excited about because i was like oh i want to smell like the beach Ooh, the the notes are white sands warm sunlight fresh waves okay oh wait no that's not the notes that's just the the get you hype um, motto, I guess. The notes are sun-kissed neroli, sparkling orange flower, bronze sandalwood. It really does smell really beachy. You're probably wondering why it's empty if I just got it. That's because I literally got it out the box and when I was trying to take off the plastic off the top to smell it, um, I untwisted the lid and like it fell over and dumped all over my carpet. Not the kitchen, okay? The carpet. 
She smells good. Will I repurchase? Probably not, but it was a nice little summer fling. I will say that. To go with my summer fling, I got this In The Sun Sea Salt Hair Mist with coconut oil. She smells good and it's safe for my hair. Don't be putting body spray on your hair, y'all. It has alcohol in it. It will dry your hair out. I hate. Just don't do it. You can get hair mist. This one was... This one wasn't that cheap, but I got this in the annual sale, so it was cheaper than the $16.50 that is on this label. I did not pay no $16.50 for this. But it smells really good. I love it. I may repurchase this if it doesn't. I have to see how it dries down. That's another thing with perfumes. How it smells on you and how it dries down and then how it mixes with your body chemistry. Like, really, it's there for everybody. So, don't let the initial impression be the final impression because odds are they're not the same. Give it a chance. In the sun hair, miss. She's nice so far. Okay, I got three of these. Amber and Argan body oil, so pure Argan oil. The third one's in my shower because I used it. And let me say, it smells really good. It is another amber, like soft, sensual scent. Musky, not in a nasty way, musky in like a grown and sexy way. Ooh. It's really soft, but it smells good. You know, it just goes with all the products that I have. And I will say, like, it has the little thingy so you don't dump the bottle out like i clearly will do if you give me the chance um it smells good you only need a few drops of it like i use like this much of it for my whole body okay and i was soft and gentle and oh i was so soft to the touch like you could go to bed with just that but i'm extra and i love being soft to the touch so i went ahead and put on some of my homemade shea butter mixture that i mix with a whole bunch of oils just to lock it in girl but I recommend this. I will be stocking up on this next, I guess, end of the year. So they have because I really like this. This is amazing. I've never seen it before. But I absolutely recommend it. That mm -hmm. try Bath and Body Works body oils. Who knew? I also got this super soft body butter. It's the Love and Sunshine scent, and it does smell like Love and Sunshine. It's a little bottle, but you know, sometimes when you have those little spot nights, like you don't put on your little regular degular Nivea, your Jergens, your Cetaphil, you want a nice, luxurious body butter. And I'm I'm not saying this is a nice, luxurious body butter. A nice, luxurious body butter would be like from L'Occitane or, you know, Jo Malone or one of those, some pricier ones. But if you can't afford that, this is a nice dupe. It smells good. It makes you soft. It makes you happy. You don't need anything more than this. Like, starting off with a college budget. I am in college. Just what I got. It's what I'm working with. Oh, well. Oh, to go with my um, Cashmere Glow body wash, I also got um, this Cashmere Glow lotion. Mm, she's nice. She's okay. She'll layer nice with my perfume. Okay, we're gonna make it work. I got this Moonstone. What is this? This is the Mineral Co. line that. The Mineral Co. line that Bath Body Works has. This one's Moonstone, inspired by Tranquility. The fragrance notes are Bergamot, Bouet, Lunar Musk. Um, smells good. I like it. it. Smells like tea. Ooh, I love that. Ooh, it smells like. You know, it's the bergamot because Earl Grey usually comes with um, bergamot in it. So it smells like Earl Grey tea, but like a little more floral because of the mugbet, I guess, whatever that is. I'm going to look it up. Um, and I got my sister the rose quartz ones, and I also got her the body spray. I really like those, to be honest. Like, they smell good, but, you know, it's being generous, so I let her give her a little back to school some, you know. Oh. I have the rose quartz. I have one of them. I guess I got two of them because I know I for sure gave her one. Yeah, this is the rose quartz spray. I may get this. This is my alcohol. Um, it's inspired by love and passion. The fragrance notes are rose water, lily, excuse me, lily petals, and fresh patchouli. Um, this is again why I was like that rose water ivy candle smells amazing, but I would never buy a rose water perfume from Bath and Body Works because like the odds are it's going to smell like alcohol, like this one does, and it mists nice, I guess. But I just can't. I ain't got time. I'm too grown to be smelling like alcohol. Okay, I'll spend the extra money and get a actual perfume. That's all my smell goods and. 
Um, now I have um, four pairs of shoes. Um, first, I got my Nike Air Maxes. I got these at the Nike clearance outlet in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Um, I'm pretty sure I paid like 50 bucks for these. But right, Air Maxes is great. And they're different. Like, everyone, not everyone. A lot of people have the green ones, but these are like well and suede and <laughs> they're different. So, next, I got some more Air Maxes. I love Air Maxes. I wish I was taller, so these are good for that. Um, they're comfortable. You really are walking on air. Like, I, they're easy to style to me some shoes you feel like or I feel like I'm trying too hard because I'm like I'm not playing basketball so what am I doing wearing these elaborate $200 basketball shoes you know sometimes I can pull it off but other times I'm like let me chill let me be regular degular just wear some Air Maxes they're old faithfuls always there for me but these are blue and I don't know what's this brown color mocha we're gonna call it mocha does it say on here I gotta find a tag. I got a tag around here somewhere, but these are different too. I don't know what kind of cottony felt material this is. And then it's got some leather. But I was like, these are dressier Air Maxes. Plus, um, my school's colors are blue and white. So I was like, I could wear this with some of my Georgetown swag, you know. Coordinate. Two pairs of vans. I got um red authentics. Um, oh, I didn't say my size. I wear a 10 and a half in women's. Um, these, because you know, you sort of size down in Nikes. These are a 8 in men's, I believe. Yeah, these are 8 in men's, which equates to a 9 and a half in women's. But I know good and well that I'm a 10 and a half, and these are comfortable. So, size down, size on a whole size from what you ordinarily would get. But I love these. I just beat to death my red kids which are just like this but with a smaller platform down here smaller sole and i was like you know what if i'm gonna get some new ones because i those are my favorite shoes i love them to death i'm gonna get the vans this time you know give me a little height like i said i want to be taller they're cute mm. oh faithfuls that's the theme of this haul oh faithfuls restocking on the goodies that have been there for me have been my ride or dies if it ain't broke don't fix it these are not lace yet. Those are lace because I wore them today with this fit. I was like, I need to pop a color all this gray on, looking sad, looking like somebody in rain cloud, like it's storming outside. It's 93 degrees and sunny. Well, I'm wearing this gray phone. So I had to throw on some gray, some red um, vans and shake them up, shake the table. These are not lace. I did just buy them, but I wore those at the store. Um, these are the uh, black old skates. I think they're called old skate school, old school skate, something like that. These again are men's eight, women's nine and a half. I don't know how to lace these. If you know how to lace these, please comment below and let me know and I will pay you to lace them. Those will lace with my sister because I don't know how to do it. Send help. <laughs> okay, those are my shoes. Next I got, I'm just gonna show this because like it's really pretty and deserves recognition. Um, I may need a backup. I'm back up. This is a scarf that I got in Turks and Caicos. Guess where I got this pretty scarf from? Put the little gold dolphins on it. Look at that. Ron John Surf Shop in Turks and Caicos for $19.95. No tax. <sighs> okay, next I have some skincare slash makeup. This is the makeup part. I got the Sex Gold and Chocolate. It was a, Nordstrom was having their semi-annual sale, so I got things that I wouldn't ordinarily get. This set had the um, Too Faced Sex Gold and Chocolate palette. Um, never seen her before. I'm wearing it today. Okay, this green, uh, this palette. I'm about to show y'all, it's so pretty. I'm so high in here, been smoking on this weed. Told him go and take a shot on three. It came with um, the palette, the eyeshadow primer, and the Better Than Sex mascara for $49. Okay, y'all know this mascara, $23 by itself. This primer, $20 by itself. This palette, $49 by itself. I had to cop a deal, a steal. Would do it again. 
Can you tell me nothing? Then I um, got this. I love this um, Stila liner. It's super black. Again, I have on right now. It's felt tip. The one thing I will say, it doesn't. People say it, you can't get it sharp. You can. You just got to, you know, learn the nuance of it. Um, and then it came with this Stila All Day Liquid Lipstick. I don't wear liquid lipstick. I'm a gloss girl. But I was like, a deal's a deal. The liner by itself is like 22 bucks, I think. And who knows how much these cost, but this set was 28. So I was like, oh, well, I got something for something. And I can put that in somebody's gift bag for Christmas or something. Next, I got this Estee Louder um, set. It came with a full size of this Estee Louder Advanced Night Repair Serum that I really love. I've used it before and it worked really well for my skin. My mother as well swears by it. Um, it came with this little eye cream, the Revitalizing Supreme Anti-Aging Power Cell Cream and the Micro Cleansing Foam, which these are all travel size. So I'll put that right in my little travel bag and keep it pushing. Great, and I got this full size. Okay. <laughs> Next. Them. One of my favorite skincare brands, honestly, it is so easy to when you discover them buy everything, which is what I literally have done. I'd say I've bought about 80% of the ordinaries line specifically. DCM's like the parent company, sort of like L'Oreal to the sub companies. Um, they've also got like Nyad and uh, and the ordinary is one of them. That's the one that I mainly buy from. But I think I'm thinking about getting some of the Naya stuff for my mom as a gift. <laughs> How many times? I'm sorry. Anyway, get into this. I got the vitamin C 23% suspension with 2% HA, which is hyaluronic acid. I got the. Azelic acid suspension, 10%. Love this for my knees and my elbows. So they don't get dark. Then I got the best toner in the world. The glycolic acid toning. Toner. 7% glycolic acid. Better than Mario Badescu's. Mario Badescu's is pretty good too. Well, before you brush your teeth and wash behind. Oh, you need to be brass. I'll sweep the tribal. This glycolic acid toner is 7% glycolic acid, and Mario Badescu's is 5%, so this one's too strong for you. You can try that one, but Mario Badescu just had this whole scandal where they were putting carcinogens in their products and not telling nobody. It was only like two or three products, but it's like, if y'all got the gall to do that, who knows what else y'all would do and not tell nobody. So, they low-key cancels for me, except for their glycolic acid cleanser, that cleansing foam. She's that girl with my Clarisonic. I love her. Unless there's carcinogens, and then she'll be canceled. But for now, we will repurchase. Next, I got the natural moisturizing factors. Um, it's way moisturizer. I like to mix it with my face oils, like some rosehip oil or the ordinary's bee oil. is pretty good too because it has a whole bunch of oils in it. It's really good for your skin at night. It's a great surface hydrator, and then when you mix it with the oil, it's even better. Like your skin will be glowing. Um, and with rose hip oil, it has vitamin K in it, so it's great for hyper hyperpigmentation too. I really recommend it for that. It helped me um, a lot, especially this summer. So get on that. And this is my mandelic acid with HA. I have a lot of acids. Don't be afraid of the word acid. I just wanted this one because, um, like I said, I do use acids on my face to treat, to chemically exfoliate. And sometimes, like when I do my AHA, BHA mask, my skin is more sensitive. So I want um, different intensities of acids so that I can still use them and get their benefit without like burning a mess out of my skin. So like if I were to get um, laser on my face again, my skin would be more sensitive. So I wouldn't necessarily do the glycolic acid. But um, mandelic acid is just a gentler acid that I can still use when my skin is hypersensitive like that. Not necessarily immediately after the day of, but um, a few days later when my skin is healing but still sensitive, this would be what I would introduce um, 
to build back up that tolerance, I guess. Not build back up the tolerance, but it's just gentler. And then I got the buffet with copper peptides. The Ordinary had a buffet without copper peptides that people raved about. And then when they came out with a version with um, copper peptides, this one I think is like $13 more. But copper peptides? That girl, like, I don't even know what else to say. If you don't know, if you're not a person into this stuff, like, there's not going to be nothing to you. But as someone who loves this stuff, like... This bottle about to do it. This bottle about to shake the table. About to revolutionize. This is that AHA BHA mask that I was talking about earlier. It's a 10 minute exfoliating facial with a pH of 3.6. Basically, this acid acid. This is not a baby acid. This will burn your skin off if you're not careful acid. It says on here, under no conditions are you to leave this on your face for more than 10 minutes. Just like Nair do. Y'all be leaving it on till it burns fools you have no face left if you do that this is an acid don't play around with this don't play around with nail if you want to have any face left open when you're done follow the instructions but i will say for this it looks like blood it's bright red um but it makes your skin so 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 soft after you use it like a baby's bottom it's also great for pig hyperpigmentation um Mechanical exfoliation is out. We are not, I mean, I don't really use my Clarisonic anymore, but when I did, I don't know that I was necessarily doing more good than harm. I know it's a weird, it's the reversal of the phrase, but scrubs and you know, the, the making the paste, making the scrub with baking soda, we're not doing that anymore because that just creates micro, micro abrasions, which lead to more hyperpigmentation. It definitely does more harm than good. And you can get better results with chemical exfoliation. So that's why I got all these acids and different levels so I can acid my skin up and have them just exfoliate themselves off my face, just come up off by themselves without making little cuts like um, scrubs do. So I really recommend this. I use this, I'd say like, maybe I should make a skincare video. I use this when i feel like it it does burn this is not for the week none of these acids are for the new I mean, you can start with mandelic acid but don't go into this expecting a little tingle this burns people say it tingles it burns it's an acid but you make do because the results are incredible next i have this grand active retinoid emulsion two percent um for a while i use this as just a moisturizer but i'm like I want my skin to be as hydrated and moisturized as possible. Um, it's a retinoid. If you want a retinoid that's not um, medically prescribed by a doctor, this one's really good because um, in the emulsion form, you get great results with, you know, less of the burning, less of the hurt. It's a very, very neutral. Well, I don't want to say neutral because I don't know about all the chemists. But what my understanding is, and from the research that I've done, you get great results without necessarily all the drying, burning, peeling that is most often associated with retinoids. So I recommend this one. It's, I don't want to, it, it, it doesn't hurt you. You know, it just feels like a lotion, but it's doing all the work that the other retinoids that be hurting you do, so best of both well you get bang for your butt i don't know it, it, it works this my b oil oh girl this b oil got everything in it i was using just rose hip oil but i was like why would i buy just rose hip oil when i can get all these oils in here this one got all the oils that's why it's b in quotations oil okay i don't know what the b stand for beautiful um bountiful bodacious it's full of all the vitamins and nutrients now nah, I'm, I'm getting carried away but it's got a whole lot in there without you having to play pharmacist like i am with the rest of my collection but this one a winner i was just talking about that mess about other oils but i went ahead and restocked the rose hip oil because like i said earlier it's got vitamin k in it um, and it's great for hyperpigmentation. And I like to mix this. Well, I don't like to mix this. My mama likes to mix this with tea tree oil to put it when she or her boyfriend has ingrown hair. She has me mix it for him when he has ingrown hair. So don't put pure undiluted tea tree oil on your face. You will burn your face. Tea tree oil has great antibacterial, anti-inflammatory properties, but it will burn the mess out of your face if you don't dilute it. So I usually dilute it with this one because it can also treat the hyperpigmentation that sometimes comes with 
ingrown hairs, um, ingrown bumps for black people or brown people, people of color. It smells nutty and woodsy and um, your rosehip seed oil is supposed to come kind of yellowish. If it's uh, super, super orange, it's been exposed to oxygen, exposed to light, and it's probably not, it's probably been compromised, it's probably not good no more. This is ascorbic acid, um, or 8% ascorbic acid, 2% alpha arbutin. I've used just the ordinary alpha arbutin before, and I, I don't know that I really saw crazy results from it after going through like three bottles, so I went ahead and got this one. The ascorbic acid is vitamin C for brightening, again, to treat my hyperpigmentation. And alpha arbutin is also supposed to be really good for um, hyperpigmentation, so I figured two of them in one, double whammy. Knock it right out the pot. This is a new purchase for me. I hope I see good results. I will follow up with that later. Now I have niacinamide, 10% and 1% zinc. Um, this is my second bottle of this. This stuff, okay? For my people with oily skin, for my people with acne prone skin. Salicylic acid who? Go ahead and get you some. The Ordinary does have salicylic acid and I've read the reviews and they're all really good reviews, but I use salicylic acid for years to treat my acne. Experience no results. Like all the Neutrogena grapefruit this and the clean and clear that. Everything you see that says acne in the drugstore and the skincare aisle is all salicylic acid. And has it worked for you thus far? Does it work for anybody thus far? No, so why, why would we buy it in another form? Nice and me. I had my doctor when my acne used to be really bad. She prescribed me some nice and my. She prescribed some nice and my for me, and I saw good results. So when I saw this bottle on the ordinary's website for five bucks, five ninety to be exact, I was like, okay. I tried it. It's a serum, you know. It does burn. It doesn't burn. I um dermarol or micro needle or whatever. So don't do that and use this because it will hurt you. It hurt me. I learned my lesson, but um, it is good for targeting acne and also targeting oiliness. This will dry your face out. And for those of y'all that think that the solution for acne is to dry your face out, you are wrong. Your face is creating all that oil because your face dry or because you're just an oily person. That's also a thing. A lot of people are just oily, but um, drying your skin out is not necessarily the answer. That's why I got all these oils and all these hydrators so I can stay on that. And I will put this on, let it dry my face out, mist it, and then go in and hydrate again because we're not doing that. That's not what we're doing. And before I put this on, I will put on my hydrating essence so that my skin, we're not doing that. We're not messing up a moisture barrier. But um, I really recommend this. It's super cheap. Super effective for treating acne. If you can't necessarily get to dermatologists, this is a good place to start. I really recommend it. And for people like me who just had these little little menstrual gifts, okay? It's fine. It just gives you somewhere to look at. You know, look right here between my eyes. Watch me. Watch me right here. Be right here. Alright guys, that's everything. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Feel free to subscribe if you like. If not, that's cool. It's fine. It don't make me no difference. But some support would be much appreciated. Till next time. Bye. And oh, you're gonna love me. You're gonna wanna love me. And squeeze.